SHOT Show 2016 coverage is brought to you by SS Airsoft. You can visit them at ssairsoft.com for all of your airsoft needs. All right, guys, Jag Precision Booth 2016 SHOT Show, looking at their new offerings, and this is pretty neat. They're going with a brand new brand this year, and it's called Jag Arms. So what the team, Brian Holt, of course you guys know Brian Holt from the Echo One world, and the rest of the guys, Hendricks and all the guys I know there at Echo One are avid real steel shooters, as well as avid airsofters. So what they wanted to do was create a product that brought everything they used in the real steel world over into the airsoft world, and also take their knowledge of technology and teching, and of course you know Brian's a fantastic tech over there at Echo One to put all that together to make an amazing gun. So what they do is they partner with VFC on this line. They have three different versions up here. You have a shorter version, which is your SBR, a Crusader, which is your mid-length, and then your longer one is kind of your reconnaissance or Ricky kind of version too. So you've got three different flavors here. They partnered up with VFC, like I said, to build this rifle, and it has a like unbelievable amount of features. First off, the A1 style grip, so no more little bump in there to bug your finger. Uh, full ambi fire selector with the cut out on the opposite side so if you're a righty it's not going to dig into your hand right there so they've actually notched it in a little bit um, they went with the m lock rail so we all know key mod was so 2014 and 2015 m lock is new not many airsoft guns are coming out with it in my opinion i like it better than the key mod and of course the jag low bling on everything jag on the top jag on the side they're on receiver under the hood because if you have see all the new parts they actually have the new piston head on here to correct the angle of engagement so you techie guys are going to know what I'm talking about there when I talk about AOE engagement. AOE is corrected from the factory on this. High torque motor, MOSFET, everything. These things should be clocking in close to that 400 FPS mark, so it's definitely your field gun, but like any gun, you can always tune it back if you want to go that route. They have really spared no expense externally and internally. And speaking of externals, to round it out, it's not only the flip-up sights you get. I want to show you. Come on in here. Show you their, the way the stock works. This is an interesting stock. It's not something you've ever seen from VFC. See, the back panel comes off and you can fit a large brick. This is a large brick LiPo, 1650 milliamp, 25C. So this thing's gonna really be cranking out. And because you have the room for that, you're gonna see mid 20s on the rate of fire out of the box, which is nuts. So you got a great rate of fire, which means great trigger response. And if you're worried about how hard it is, it's gonna be to get that battery in there. No problem as I almost drop it. It's a little switch right here in the end and the whole cap comes off, boom. No more tabs, no more things you can break. That, flip the switch and it's locked back into place. I am really impressed with all of the thought that went into this gun. This isn't just a rebrand or something. They have truly built it from the ground up. So guys, this is coming out. We're gonna see these in the low 300s, uh, very low, like 310-ish, right around this part, all the way up to about the mid 300s for the long one, depending on which version, but still right in that sweet price point. You're gonna see a ton of these in the airsoft field in 2016. Thank you.